I bought the cheapest thermostat I could find on Amazon. And today we're going to go over an overview of this thermostat. Is it worth it? I've seen a lot worse. <laughs> I put batteries in it and it's not kicking on. Oh, oh. Is there any quality to it at all? We're gonna find out in this video. I haven't even opened it yet, but we're going to end up installing it. I'm gonna show you how does it operate? How good is it actually? No one's paid me to make this video. I'll put a link down in the description of this video, good or bad, in case you wanna look at it closer and check the price of it. I paid less than $30 for this thermostat. It says it's a seven day flexible programmable thermostat. So you can run a schedule in this thermostat. It's actually not a bad looking thermostat. It kind of reminds me a little bit of of one of the old Honeywell 3000s or some of those old White Rogers thermostats. The ad says that the brand is, I'm probably gonna say this wrong, but Rasim, but the box oddly doesn't say that. The box does not have any brands on it that I see at all. It says in big bold letters on the back, made in China, but let's be honest, they probably all are or at least somewhere overseas these days. I'm not aware of anyone making thermostats here in the US right now, but I could be wrong. If you know of one, please let me know. And so we're gonna open this. It's got our flap here and here's the big reveal. We got our instructions here on the top. Pretty descriptive overall so far. They're showing where they want you to install it, quick references, what the different displays and numbers buttons mean wiring. They've got where you label it. So I've seen a lot worse. <laughs> I've seen a lot worse from an instruction standpoint. Let's go through. There's a technician setup menu in here. There is a few things that you can adjust if you want to. Some of these I would not adjust unless you really know what you're doing, unless you know what that can do to your HVAC system. But a few of these are interesting. So they've got their filter change reminder here where you can calibrate the temperature of the thermostat, adjusting that up or down three degrees, your cycle rate on your compressor. I probably wouldn't adjust that. I would leave that at factory settings unless, again, unless you know what you're doing with that one. The next one is the compressor delay, dead band temperatures if you want to adjust that, what type of temperature you want it to read. Most of us in the US use Fahrenheit, but if you're in Canada or somewhere else in the world, you might use Celsius. 12 or 24 hour clock, whether or not you want the thermostat to control the fan operation, there are some furnaces where the HVAC system actually controls that. And so I will say, I haven't even cracked the thermostat itself open, but just looking at the instructions, for it to be so budget friendly, I am impressed so far. Your operation manual, here's what that would look like. And this is usually just where they show you how to actually operate the thermostat. A lot of contractors will use this to install the thermostat, and then they'll use this to give to the homeowner on how to operate that thermostat. Some of the stickers that folks can attach to the wires themselves, just some labels there you can attach to those. And then we've got our hardware here, some screws and plastic anchors. And then finally, here's the thermostat itself. I gotta say for it to be such a budget friendly thermostat, I am impressed. So the box did not have that brand on there, Rasim, but the thermostat itself does. So there's that, that I was telling you guys about. And if you do need to replace or install the batteries, it's got this door. Again, this reminds me of some of those thermostats that we used to install a lot of, right? Before Honeywell switched to the T-Series or some of these smart thermostats started coming out. So you just flip the door down. There's where you put your batteries in. We've got our temperature buttons, our mode and our fan control. And then we've got a hold. We did a video where we explained the temporary and permanent holds on some of these thermostats, the time and the program. See if I can get this off of here without getting too crazy. So there's that. And I will say, even this is kind of nice because a lot of thermostats don't do that where they actually mark what's what. So sometimes when I put batteries in a thermostat, I'll look on here. Okay, so this one plugs in here. So that, that R goes in that R. Let me see and I'll get my meter and I'll check continuity from here to say G over here and see is that switch actually closing like it's supposed to. So that's kind of nice to be honest with you that they mark that. But overall, I mean, again, for it to be such a budget friendly thermostat, I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not mad with the quality of this. Let's throw some batteries in it. See how hard it is to program. Looks like AAA batteries. Oh, I grabbed three. I really only needed two, but we'll pop these in here. 
see if it kicks on here. I put batteries in it and it's not kicking on. Oh, 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 it is kicking. It's trying to kick on. Okay. So it did take a minute to kick on there. And I don't know if that is something that is normal. Does it normally take a while to fire up, if you will? Um, I've never seen a thermostat that takes batteries take that long to get going. We won't hold it against it yet, uh, as long as everything else operates okay. But I was beginning to wonder if the battery operation actually did work. Maybe we needed to get it on the wall and get 24 volts through it from the HVAC system sent to it. All right, we're on heat. Let's see if we can... All right, heat plus one kicked on there. And it kicked off once we reached temperature. So that's interesting. Now I will say it says that it's 77 degrees in here and it is not. According to my thermostat that's actually on the wall, I'm up in my office at my home here and the thermostat on the wall says it's 69 degrees. Now let's just assume that that's wrong. Let's say that it's actually 71. I can tell you it's not 77 because I would not be able to breathe. A chubby guy like me needs it to be a little cooler, right? That is one thing I'll point out. That is definitely not correct. But at the end of the day, if you're looking for a budget-friendly thermostat, if you want it cooler in the house, you just set it to run a, at a cooler temperature. This has been sitting in my office, so it's not like this unit was sitting out in my truck or something out in the heat, and then I just turned it on. So that's interesting. Now, if I go back to our instructions here, where it said we could adjust the thermostat temperature to enter the other steps, press and hold the plus and minus buttons for three seconds. All right, so FL, and it says to hit program to advance to the next one. And this is our calibration. So if I wanna set this to be three degrees lower than what it thinks the temperature is, press and hold run to exit. Okay, so now we did get that to lower a little bit, but that's still significantly higher than what it actually is in here. So just be aware of that. You might get one that is calibrated correctly, but if you don't, you know, just realize my, the thermos that I'm showing you guys, it thinks it's warmer in the house than it actually is. So that's okay, but let's just see if we're in heating mode, how high will it go? Okay, so it goes pretty high anyway. So that should be okay. Another interesting little quirk is if you keep going up, so we get up to 90, then it goes all the way back down to 44. So it doesn't like just stop at 90 and sit there. It actually rotates back to the lowest temperature, allowing you to go back up through the temperatures. So that's interesting. Let's mount this on the wall and see how that goes. And then we'll wrap up with my overall thoughts of this thermostat. All right, I will say that I do like that the holes match up. So there's like a, I don't want to say there's a standard width, but a lot of thermostats have the same width on the holes for the screws that mount it. And whenever I come across a thermostat that doesn't have that, it just always drives me nuts. All right, so we're gonna mount it on here now. Oh, I just noticed something, so that's interesting. So when I switched from cool, from heat to cool, this temperature did drop down to what I was telling you guys the temperature should be. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's 70 degrees now if I go back to heat. So that's interesting. So when it was just in my hands and I just popped the batteries in it, maybe it just needed some time, but now the temperature is reading what I was saying, the temperature felt more like in this room. So that's interesting. Put it back on cool here. In fact, I'm going to flip it to the off position and this to auto while I flip my breakers on. I should be able to just flip this to on and drop this temperature and get some AC. Let's see if it works. And it did. My vents are blowing. Let me make sure they blow cold. Might take a couple minutes for the refrigerant to circulate through there. All in all, she's working so far. Now, I haven't gone through these settings that we talked about a moment ago, but it's already set on Fahrenheit. I think the clock is on 24 because I'm seeing 027. She's on there. She's blue. Got that blue display. She's working. I'm getting cool air out of the vents. 
All in all, I think my overall view of this thermostat, it's a decent little thermostat for the price. I mean, unless they go up in price, something crazy, I would not be scared to mount this. Now, is it the nicest thermostat I've ever seen? No. Are we comparing it to some of the Wi-Fi thermostats, the smart thermostats that we see out there today? I would not say it's the nicest thermostat I've ever laid hands on. But I will say if I'm in a pinch, if I need to get a good budget friendly thermostat, especially if I'm moving, right? If I'm moving homes and I'm not worried about dumping a bunch of money into a thermostat or something like that, it does do programmable. It seems to do all the things you need it to do without all the bells and whistles. And especially in today's day and age where a lot of you will comment on my videos and say, hey, I don't want some of those features on my thermostat. I want a simple thermostat that's just going to operate well. Maybe this is something you can look at and save a buck. Love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. Would you get this thermostat or do you love the thermostat that you have for one reason or another? One thing that would really help me is if you got any value out of this video, hitting that like button. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about the best air filter I've ever found. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.